going on you guys angelo here today it is christmas eve so happy holidays this video might come out a little bit later i don't know yet but uh today we will be exploring charm and charlie so recently literally about december 18th or december 20th or something we just got a word that they are actually supposed to be going out of business soon so i want to go ahead and check out what's going on and see what's inside the store i haven't been in the store i've only been in here for maybe to buy a couple of gifts but that was about it i haven't been in here at all this year so we're gonna go ahead and check it out So this mall is kind of an open mall as well as they have another part that is indoors. So, but we're gonna check this out, see what it's like and see what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn over here. You see they got the Christmas tree up over here. But uh, it's a lot of people out today a lot of people buying last minute gifts and but yeah charm and charlie it closed about 99 stores so i want to see what's going on because they only have 300 stores so Now, due to copyright, I won't be able to show you all the full audio as there were songs playing within the store that I just can't have and I don't want to get a strike for any of that. So I will not be able to show you the full audio, but I will be narrating over it, as I said before. So please bear with me with that. But anyways, Charming Charlie's is a store that was founded in 2004, actually, and basically their prices range from five dollars to up to maximum usually fifty dollars and this is what you call the sweet spot for a lot of people basically what they do at this store is sell jewelry and other accessories to go with your outfit and they also have it in color-coded areas so as you're seeing while i'm walking around is these areas of different colors and as you can see this one was green and turquoise and whatnot this next area was blue i've only bought something out of this place maybe like once to buy this for someone i haven't been in this store in a few years it was very interesting for me to hear about that they were filing but it also makes sense in somewhat ways because of the online industry now it's just crazy how the decline of department stores and other retailers are just going out because of that you can just get stuff 24 7 365 and that's something that you just can't do at an actual retail store but while i was walking around i noticed the floors were clean everything was put up properly there was no problems with that at all a lot of stuff does look nice but as you can see they did decorate for the holidays as i said it was christmas eve one of the problems though is that you can get all this cheap jewelry and whatnot online and it won't even cost the same amount of price it'll be maybe a couple dollars you can go on amazon and various other websites now to get this as you're seeing here this was like ten dollars just for a little piece of jewelry and a lot of places or a lot of people now will go to places like macy's and kohl's just to get some better quality stuff as a lot of the stuff i did here does erode but while walking around the store once again as you see going to another area this is black and gold as you're seeing here and it's not that it doesn't look nice and it's not presentable it's like i said the online industry really took a toll on this business and they only have actually about 375 stores 380 stores but they're going to be closing literally over 100 so i don't know how long or this place will actually last i will have an update video on this very soon but as you're seeing this was some baby stuff over here and they just had a lot to offer one thing that i did notice though while I was there was that there wasn't anyone that asked me if I needed any help or anything and I didn't see many people in there period it was just really crazy because it's funny how these businesses that are soon to be going out that they just can't even employ that many people that they used to anymore now this place was it got very popular a few years ago I do remember that a lot of people used to go here frequently but now the decline has happened it is 2017 about to be going into 2018 as you can just see what happens from the online 
online industry, this is some of the stuff that can happen. You see less attendance within the stores and a lot of these department stores, just like Sears, which they also just announced that this will be their last holiday season. So definitely look to see them be going out of business officially in 2018, probably in that first quarter. Uh, we will see though. But like I said, the store was very nice. It definitely, everything was presented very well. Even though they only had a few workers, they did do their job right. So uh, as you see across the street was Saxon and the parking lot was packed over there. But like I was saying in the store, this is color coded so that each area has specific colors. And basically they put all the accessories and clothes and mugs and whatnot in that little area of each color, which is nice. It does help people to shop better. As you can see in the little back area here, they have some handbags and purses another thing though that i did notice though while i was at this store was that there weren't any price tags like i tried to find the price tag but most of them are on the clothes is what i was seeing but it would have been great if they just had an actual sign and just said this is how much this is in this area but as you can see there was no like price tags anywhere they didn't say any sales promoting any sales or anything so that was interesting to me on that now the store also carries sunglasses like i said they have all the accessories that you could think of mugs purses handbag they don't have any perfumes or anything like that but they do have like lipstick lip gloss earrings and a few other things overall though i think the store looked very nice it definitely was presentable for sure hopefully the next time i come in here if they're not closed already workers will actually come to ask me for some help prices to be shown on like most displays would be more helpful definitely i think the store has potential but because they've already are kind of down in the pot already it's going to be harder for them to bring this back up. I wouldn't say they need to remodel. Now this is the outside store that I was in once again. And basically they did used to be inside. Now these stores are usually inside malls. And that's another problem because malls are getting as much attendance as they used to anyway. Like I said, online 24 seven, 365, you really just can't beat that. And the fact that retailing costs so much to put your product on display, it's even more money. So it definitely just shows what's happening. Uh, what the future holds for this company, I don't know know yet but we will see some more about this definitely in 2018 but i hope you all did enjoy this video let me know your thoughts of it on the comment section below and i will talk to y'all in the next one happy holidays and i hope you all have a happy new year peace out